Welcome to Alpha Car Service Center. We have an interesting job. We don't have a solution yet, but this is one of those uh, BMWs that has mysterious vibrations. And if you have one and you've been dealing with uh, vibrations that you sense in the vehicle body, in the seat, and a little bit on the steering wheel, uh, this might be a good video to watch. So you have to make sure certain things are uh, in good order. Like on this car, we uh, replaced uh, all worn parts in the front suspension. The alignment's been done. We did road force balancing and road force matching of the new tires to the rims. We made sure the rims are straight. We also measured and checked front axles. We found right axle uh, not to perform properly. There was some deviation going up and down when it was rotated, so we replaced that. And on this side, we simply replaced the CV joint boots because one of them was cracked. And the, the vibrations has improved dramatically, but there's still uh, certain vibrations are still in the vehicle. So we are going to be checking the drive line, um, the propeller shaft that goes from the transmission, from the output shaft flange of the transmission, all the way back here to the differential. The things we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at the uh, flex joint, also known as Guivo. We're gonna look at the center support bearing. I don't think we're gonna see it, but it's right there and the center support bearing has some adjustments. We're also going to check a U-joint. Uh, this drive shaft has a U-joint, so we're going to make sure the U-joint, the little movement that it's supposed to have, there's no uh, hard spots in it. In order to do the inspection of the driveline components, specifically the propeller shaft, uh, flex joints, center support bearing, we have to remove uh, a few components. Uh, we have to get the heat shields off. And in order to be able to do that, we took this exhaust system down. Inspecting these components, um, you want to look at any type of surface cracking, which we're actually exhibiting. And sometimes what you would need to do, you would definitely need to release the center support bearing. And that will give you ability to move things around like this. Just grab it with your hand. You can move this up and down. As you move it up and down, you can see I, I place the shaft back to its original position and you don't see any cracking. Check that out. Now I'm gonna lower it. And as I'm lowering it, look in this position right there. So as you lower that, you can see those cracks open up. And there's actually more around this perimeter. So right now we cannot say definitively if this flex joint cause or contributes to vibrations, but we know it's bad, so we're definitely gonna replace that. Usually we wanna replace them in pairs, and this one also has some surface cracking. I just had uh, someone help me with this, and these cracks uh, open up more when you flex the drive shaft. So the other thing that we are going to do is we most likely at this point, we're going to replace the center support bearing and the su support bearing mount altogether. And when we have the drive shaft down, uh, we're going to check the U-joint and there's a specific way uh, we're gonna check it out. We're actually gonna bend the drive shaft one side against the other and we're gonna feel for smoothness in this little movement. If there's gonna be any type of sticking at all in that U-joint, we're gonna have to replace the drive shaft because this joint is part of the drive shaft. So that is something uh, ahead of us. We're gonna pull out the drive shaft and check that out. We now have both drive shafts out of the vehicle. You can see how it all looks without the drive shafts. Here's the front flange and the back flange of the front drive shaft. So how do we check the drive shaft? 
Obviously, you want to check for any signs of damage uh, on these cars. It's highly unlikely because they're very well protected with all the goodies we have to remove. And then um, outside of visual inspection, what we want to do, we actually want to split this. So we wanted to remove the short shaft off of the long shaft. We want to inspect the, f uh, the splines to make sure they're smooth. Usually they are because they have this boot. So, and then the reason we actually gonna separate that, not only to inspect the splines, but to be able to carefully check this U-joint. And the way to check it is, uh, obviously if it's loose, you would see some looseness uh, right away. You would usually see a little bit of rust stains around. Uh, but most of the time, what we're looking for is smoothness and consistency and resistance in the U-joint. So the U-joint, when it performs, there shouldn't be any resistance in this direction. I shouldn't say any resistance. There's always going to be some resistance, but there should be reasonable resistance. And it should be equal this way and then rotate at 90 degrees and this way. So, and the other thing what we want to do is you want to feel how as it moves up and down, there shouldn't be any spot with a difference in the resistance, how it moves. It should be absolutely smooth. And if there's a spot, that's a bad sign. I'm gonna get a second opinion. I feel a little bit of difference in the resistance. And the other thing we're gonna do is you wanna look at the bearing. And the bearing is nice and smooth, but since we got to this point, we might as well just replace it. And I have the front drive shaft, which we positioned here. And I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna move it up and down turn it and this has a lot less movement this way which is fine there's a limiting factor there but you don't want to have any uh, spots of uh, difference in the way that it moves and I can feel a little bit right there so this front drive shaft I can actually feel it it just boom pop, pops right in the middle and let's look at the other side. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. It just has a, um, a spot with a difference, re difference in the resistance, which contributes to the way the drive shaft behaves. And it contributes to a little bump every rotation. That bump by itself does not really do anything. But when these bumps are amplified, well, when they're overlaid on each other, depending on the speed of the drive shaft, and then when it hits the resonating frequency, that's when we start feeling the vibrations. And I am excited to take the BMW on test drive. We end up replacing both drive shafts. We replace the front drive shaft and we replace the main propeller shaft that runs from the transmission all the way, all the way back to the rear axle. The reason we did that, because there was still some um, inconsistencies in the performance of the U-joints. Even though there was no free play and they were tight, but there was still some tightness in the certain positions. So just like you, I'm very interested in the outcome. So let's take this car on the test drive. In uh, Before we did this work, uh, right here on uh, on this road, which is right in front of our Alpha Cars location in Boxborough with 111, as soon as you get to like 35, 40 miles per hour, you would uh, feel uh, some shimmy instantly in the drivetrain. Actually, it's already smoother and better. Yeah, it feels absolutely awesome. Yeah, we're at 40, 45 miles an hour and it's as smooth as silk. So yeah, you can say, so which drive shaft was it? Was it the front one or was it the main drive shaft? Uh, propeller shaft also known as. 
And most likely, it was contributing from both because in our experience, if there is that a little bit of stiffness in the U-joint performance that is barely noticeable uh, and could be easily overlooked even by experienced technicians. But yeah, that's uh, why we replaced both of them. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope it was helpful. Consider sharing, subscribing, and please let us know which videos you like the best. My name is Dimitri, and until next time.